Uh, hello, this is Duango AC here with Taskbot. I'm here to demonstrate what some of the runners in the upcoming Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island run are going to have to do to skip large sections of level 5-4. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm just play it with no audio here for a second. You can skip this level by doing this. And it is not an easy thing to do this. You're supposed to be riding that green platform all the way across this level, which would be laborious and take way too much time. So runners have developed a number of techniques to bypass the entire level using perfect flutter uh, movements, and it's not an easy trick. I'm gonna demonstrate what it takes to do that in just a second. I'll let this play through so you can see what the runners are going to have to accomplish during this segment. So they're, they're luring some bats over in this segment. Uh, there are <laughs> a number of times here where a lot of very, very unfortunate things could happen, and here in just a second I'm gonna demonstrate one of them. To do this flutter perfectly requires very, very precise timing on the order of about a three-frame window. Now, I'm gonna explain what that is here. So I've got another save state I've got queued up here. If I play this segment, you can see here he's fluttering up and down over and over again. Now, I'm in an emulator, so I can go back and replay this segment over and over again with absolutely no consequence. Also, because I'm an emulator, in an emulator, you can easily change your input. And up here in this upper right corner, you can see here that He's holding the jump button and right, B would be jump, right button's right here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna shift this by one frame. So instead of holding jump all the way through frame 19,618, letting go on frame 19,619 and then pressing jump again, we're gonna move that just by one frame, just by one frame. We're gonna check that and check that. So what's gonna happen here is he's going to let go of the jump button one frame early and this is the result. Instant death. Literally one frame early, and they will fall off the bottom of the level. Except, as you might have seen earlier, they're not just doing this once. They're doing this over and over and over again through the course of this level. This is not an easy trick. I'm incredibly impressed with the runners who are able to pull this off. This is a great example of, of what it means to, to do some of these near-frame perfect tricks. They actually have a, about a three-frame window to be able to gain height, if they're a little bit later, they start to drop a little farther and a little farther every single time they do this trick. So they want to make sure that they're within that window as, as much as they possibly can be. Uh, I, I'm, again, I'm just amazed at what these runners are able to accomplish. And you're going to see them right after the current run. So we've got Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga coming up next. And right after that is Yoshi's Island. Uh, that's all I had to demonstrate here today. If you want to see more task content, come over to twitch.tv Duango AC. That's my channel. That's where Taskbot here, right here, this little robot here with the, uh, <laughs> with the circuit board on him, will be playing more games just like this. Uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next segment.